Okay, let's keep moving, bro. Um, this one was with Cade when we were talking about JB, and this is one of the things that he had to say. He said, Cade is a stud. Our focus is making him one of the best two-way players. He wants to take the Pistons to the next level. Thoughts on that, if you have any, King? That's everything that we know he is. You know what I'm saying? As a two-way player, um, he gonna give you the effort on both sides. Yep. So, you know, that's something we've seen already. Uh, he's only gonna get better offensively but on the defensive end i think he already gives you all the effort that you want on the defensive end mm -hmm. uh, you can always improve and get better it's not like i'm not saying he's a lockdown defender at this point in his career but he gives that effort and that's all i want to see out of my backcourt anytime you hear a coach saying that he wants to turn his star player into one of the best two-way players yeah sign me up all right. day long he could have left it out he could have just said you know we want to surround cave with spacers and shooters like he did we want to put Kate in the best position and be at his best like he did and that would have been cool i don't think anybody would have had a problem with that but can you know bro being a two-way player that requires something up here because mm -hmm. it means you're going to sacrifice some of your offense yep you sacrifice some of that gas in your tank to perform on defense and so a good example of that we saw that with luca you talk about it all the time. I love Luca. You know how I feel about Luca, one of my favorite players. But one of the things that he's been maligned for, as incredible as he is offensively, is his lack of commitment defensively. Think about the finals. When he did play defense, hard, tough defense in game four, a lot of his shots was coming up short. Yeah. Hitting the front iron, because he was gassed, because he was exerting so much energy on defense. So that's what happens. And you got to know going in, that's going to happen. I may not have a great shooting night. I may not have 25, 30. I may not, whatever. But Kate is built for that. He's a team player. He wants to win. So he don't care about averaging 30. He just wants to win. So I think one thing that he's got to stay on top of, though, is his conditioning. He got to be in great shape. That's the only way you can be a great two-way player. And that's why I think that Luca is not a two-way player because he's not in good shape. And he gets gas way too quick. Like you said, you said that. So if I'm the Pistons, that's one of the biggest focuses for Kate this offseason is just to get that diet right. Right. Just, just stay in tip-top shape. Because he's got the mindset and he's got the skills to be a perennial all-star two-way player. And I'm really excited to see that. Yep. Absolutely. Totally agree. You don't hear too many coaches saying that about their star player. Mm -hmm. You're talking about, you know, just doing everything that you can to make his life easier. A lot of times you'll hear coaches wanting to go get defenders to put alongside their star player. So the star player doesn't have to guard the best offensive player. You don't really hear the coach saying, we want to put him to a level to where he, he can guard. You don't hear that. Steph Curry, for example, not, I love Steph Curry, but he was never guarding the best offensive player in the backcourt. It was always Clay. You know what I'm saying? So like, you need to have the ability too. And Kate has the ability. Like Steph Definitely. has the want to, but he don't have the, he's not big enough. He's not athletic. So Kate has the want to and the mentals. You get that body straight, <laughs> it's a wrap. Hey, credit to uh, Ashton, the trainer, and, and Cannon. Yes, sir. Put that into him. You always see how competitive him and Cannon are towards each other. And then you see, you know, the work that him and Ashton put in. You yeah. know, so that mentality is worked. It's Shout nice out stuff. to them, man. Really yeah. quickly. We talked about it earlier, but just yeah, having the skills and the mindset to be able to develop him the way that they have. People, because people say all the time, like, man, did he train with anybody else or he just trained with them? Look at what it's doing. Look at what he just got. He just got a max extension. If he wasn't that dude, it would have reflected on them. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it just shows he's continued to get better. So just let him keep doing what he's doing, man. Let him let him roll whatever he wants to roll with because it's, it's obviously working. If y'all don't know the details, make sure y'all go back on YouTube and look for that documentary when he got drafted. Overtime. You'll see a lot in overtime, man, uh, about where that's rooted from. So that's yep. why we that credit and that shout out to them. 100%. Hotter than MTV in Y2K. You don't want to see Buff Dub Y2K. Breaking records set by Michael J. Bringing glory days back to the future, Michael J. He's way ahead of his time, he's got a plan, yeah. Let off by none other than his brother Cannon. If this is more than a game, it's a passion. Why they see we working? Cause I'm a hashtag.